So what's like a good memory you have from the old Lincoln Mall? From the old Lincoln Mall, okay. So when I got my license back in the day, many moons ago, um, the Lincoln Mall was the only mall around here, right? And I got my license and I picked up my friend Margaret and we went to the Lincoln Mall. It was like my first trip ever alone in a car with my friend, without parents, and it was the hub of my existence at that time. It was the place to be, especially on the weekends. Um, at that time, the mall was completely filled with stores and they had the little kiosks in the middle too. Um, everybody wanted to be there. Everybody went to do their Christmas shopping there. We had um, Caldor was there and then I think Kmart was there for a little bit on the opposite side. We did have a movie theater. The Dream Machine, which was the arcade, and everybody wanted to be there, and they had, I still have some of the tokens at my house somewhere, Dream Machine tokens, because I had so many of them. Newport Creamery was there, which was a big deal for everybody, so that was, that was pretty good. And we, I think McDonald's was still there, too. Um, but it was like kind of like what Providence Place was when they first opened. Everybody wanted to be there all the time. There was a department store that is uh, actually right where Stop and Shop is now. I forget the name of the, uh, it was either Woolworth or Caldor, one of those, and they had during Christmas a, a talking Christmas tree. And I remember my dad brought me up to it and uh, you know, you would talk to the Christmas tree, at, and that tree would ask you uh, what you wanted for Christmas. And all of a sudden the tree goes, hello, Mr. Dalby, because my dad was a teacher here. So I was like, oh my God, you know the talking Christmas tree. That was the story of Lincoln Mall in its early days. It looks a little bit different now. Eventually, it lost a little bit of its novelty in the 90s, and by the early 2000s, the owners decided to switch things up. New stores like Stop and Shop opened that didn't open into the rest of the mall, and some stores, like Kmart, RIP, started to leave. Once it was bought by WP Realty in 2006, it started to even more rapidly change into more of an outdoor storefront plaza scenario. This left the area partially reminiscent of some internet war games, with liminal spaces galore of empty storefront space. Um, I liked the old mall because it was accessible from from inside, like all the stores were in there. We go in Target every so often, but it's not like you go up there to hang out at the mall. There's not really any place to hang out. Um, so they don't, they've never really experienced the hanging out at the mall thing. One time um, in Lincoln Mall, me and my friends went to Target and um, I got in this cart, like the shopping carts, and um, in, where you cross the street, my friend accidentally let go of the car, so I was just going down, like literally with the cars on the road in the cart, and then it fell over, and then I also fell over, so then a bunch of people were just kind of like laughing at that, so. We got kicked out of Lincoln Mall. Why? Uh, we rode bikes through the main mall and like popped the Phillies. Like the inside Like part. Like where the bowling alley is, and then security chased us around the mall like six times, and then we got kicked out. All right, so um, this one time I was at Lincoln Mall, I just got back from Chili's, and um, I was walking to the Target, and um, there's these like beams next to the Target, and um, some kid thought it was a good idea to uh, hop on top of them and like stand up there, and um, he he was just like trapped up there, and all of his like all of his like, friends left them, and they they pushed all the shopping carts away, and then um, when he tried to hop off. He like he fell on a shopping cart and then it rolled forwards and then he uh they fell down. It's easy to assume that the Lincoln Mall has just died out. You would be wrong though. In fact, the Lincoln Mall is probably the heart of any social life in this town. The older owners were actually incredibly smart to make the switch because its layout is much more popular than other places that stuck with the indoor mall layout, like Emerald Square Mall. One of the biggest economic indicators of its popularity was the addition of new places like IHOP, Capriati's, Poke Bros, and Chipotle after its acquisition in 2019 by Acadia Realty Trust. Technically, to make the name more accurate, the mall is called the Lincoln Commons, but no one calls it that, really. Not if you're a local, anyway. However, it's more evident yeah, in the culture listen. surrounding the mall, the one dictated actually by young teens. It is best known as the prime hangout for middle schoolers going on their first night out without their parents. It's safe, close by, and relatively inexpensive, so you'll see gaggles of kids going to watch movies, go bowling, 
hang out at a local Target, or even go on a fancy first dinner date at Chili's, one that is inevitably awkward. It's really visited by everyone though, and it is the source of a lot of people's errands, casual hangouts, and even their first jobs. With the new Ulta in construction, it's clear that the Lincoln Mall will continue to grow and continue to influence many more generations of young kids, teens, and adults in this town.